Florida fishing here and today we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different so rumor has it that there are peacock bass in Fort Myers Florida I've caught them in Naples about 30 minutes south but yesterday I spent a couple hours just marking a whole bunch of spots down in Fort Myers in the canal system so we're gonna to try to find some peacock bass in Fort Myers just got the car all packed up and ready to go we got two rods I'm bringing my ultralight as always when I go for peacocks and also my uh, Daiwa Kage setup that you guys have seen a couple times if you've watched my peacock videos. It's about 4.30 right now. I'm about to head out, probably in 15 minutes, 20 minutes or so. Um, it's about 59 degrees right now, so it's pretty chilly. It's gonna be about the same temperature down there, so um, it's gonna warm up throughout the day. It should get to about 80, so those peacocks should be biting. Y'all stay tuned, hopefully we can get on some peacocks. Alrighty guys, so we just made it to Fort Myers. We made it to the first spot that we're gonna be hitting today. It looks kind of like a spillway spot. I will say it's a lot smaller of an area than I thought it would be. It's pretty hard to see because you can see it's still dark. It is 6.43 a.m. right now, so we're probably gonna give it about 15 minutes till we get out of the car. Um, rather be early than late, so um, I'll catch you guys when we walk up to the canal. Alrighty guys. It is about that time to start fishing. It is first light. We're going to head over to the canal in just a second. I'm going to put my ultralight rod in my Placino backpack. All right, there we go. And I'm going to start off using a Guggen Squad Saucy Swimmer 3.3 inch. This is the flaming Hot color. I figured something this color, kind of a a red or orange whatever will kind of fire up the peacocks if they're on beds right now today i'm filming this march 30th you guys will probably see this sometime in the beginning of april so it's prime time bedding season right now still first impressions here it uh it looks a lot smaller than i thought it would but i see a little bit of movement and we got kind of like the spillway type deal here and maybe we got some peacocks so let's get to fishing without further ado Oh, right away, something grabbed it. What is that? What is that? Oh, it's a largemouth, of course. Oh, I just spit it. Of course, starting the day out with a largemouth here in Fort Myers. Ate it as soon as it touched the water right off the spillway right there. It's pretty deep right on the edge of these uh, concrete slabs here. And we got a small bridge right here. This is a good stage spot for peacock bass, so we'll see what we got going on. So another thing about these paddle tails is you can skip cast them. You can't really skip cast a hair here. Oh, little largemouth just grabbed it as soon as it touched the water. These little guys are aggressive down here. First fish of the day, nice little baby largemouth not even a pound on the Guggen Squad Saucy Swimmer. Nice. Still shallow with hydrilla. All 
All right, let's go somewhere else. All right, guys, right as we're pulling up to the spot, um, we parked right next to the canal. I can see some stuff chasing bait already, so that's a really good sign. Pop this rod in the rod holder real quick. Never know when you need an ultralight. You might see some stuff on a bed. I see a lot of tilapia moving around over here too, but there was just um, some bait getting chased right over here. I'm guessing there's going to be probably largemouth at least. There are tilapia everywhere. Oh, 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 something going to it. Head wake. Head wake right behind it. Look at that. What's that right there? That's a tilapia. What's that? What's that? What's that? That's what was popping stuff. What is that? I could barely see him. I couldn't really see him. All right. I think it's time for spot number three. Alrighty, guys. We just arrived to spot number, uh, I believe, three. So right as we're pulling up, I see it's flowing really good. We got some current. And it's coming out of that drain we got some rocks on the side and it's super clear water so my impressions would tell me if there's peacocks in this area they're definitely going to be somewhere in this canal so let's go grab the rods in the bag and start this up oh that's why it's flowing so hard because it's like pretty shallow right there at that drain with a bunch of rocks on the bottom definitely looks peacocky Looks a lot more peacocky than, ooh, there's a nice largemouth right there. Two pounder just swam out right from my feet. As I was saying, it looks a lot more peacocky over here than the last couple spots. So I'm feeling confident about this little canal stretch here. Jesus. <laughs> all right i guess we're just gonna go ahead and another spot all right guys i'm not even going to take my backpack because the car is literally right here um next spot we got a pretty big spillway and right as i'm walking up i see a couple really big largemouth that are like probably two and a half three pounds not really big but nice largemouth and we got some rocks on the side super clear hydrilla water so I'm feeling really good about the spillway here. Maybe if there's peacocks in this area, this is where we'd find them. So real quick, let's see if we can get this uh, largemouth to eat. He kind of just swam off right as I walked up, so I don't know where he went. I think the plan is we're gonna hit this spot for a few minutes and one, maybe two more spots, and then probably head over to Naples, try to make something happen for the peacocks. The largemouth came back. He's right here. Let's see how he reacts to it. He's right here. Oh, oh, got him, got him. He just ate it. The big largemouth. That's a nice largemouth. Oh yeah, that's like a three pounder. Definitely. That's a good one. Just sight casted this guy. Let me try to land him without falling in the canal here. Yeah, he's probably like a three. I knew he was about a three. Hooked right on the top of the mouth. I let it I let it sink right in front of him. And man, he just thumped it. Thumped that thing. Let me see if I can get this guy. Let me wrangle you, buddy. Oh yeah. Nice large mouth right there. Probably about a two and three quarter, maybe three pounder. He's got a nice gut on him. Just crushed that little uh, saucy swimmer right there. I'm gonna grab a picture of this guy real quick. Um, first decent fishing. Fort Myers, and uh, we'll keep fishing. All right, nice largemouth on the saucy swimmer. I'm gonna try to get down and give this guy a good release the best I can at least. It's not too, too steep at the end. Good thing I'm wearing my boots. Nice largemouth right by the spillway. All righty, let's let this guy go. Nice one. Thanks for the fight, buddy. Oh, there he goes, awesome. All right, I guess we'll go hit another spot or two. And man, if we don't get anything by then, I guess Naples it is. All righty, 
last spot here in Fort Myers. I just scoped it out for a minute. Looks pretty good. We got a spillway. It's a little dirtier on this side. The other side's a lot clearer and deeper. So we might walk, uh, walk down a little bit each way and see what we got going on. Couple nice rocks in the water over. Oh my god. Dude, it's an iguana. No way. In Fort in freaking Fort Myers? That was a huge iguana too. I have not seen an iguana in Naples, Fort Myers, anywhere on the west coast. That's the first time, guys. I thought that was maybe a baby gator. That was a huge iguana. He was like three feet long. I guess Naples is the move, and we'll see if the peas are bedding over there. Okay guys, so we made it to Naples. Now I'm pretty sure we will definitely be able to catch a peacock. I really wanted to try to catch one in Fort Myers. I've heard they're there and it's a new area, but uh, I know as a fact where we're going right now, there's a bunch of peacocks. And last time we were here, we came in February, early February. We didn't see any peacocks, it was too early, but we're in prime bedding season right now. So we definitely should uh, be able to pluck a couple peacocks. I'm going to keep throwing the same lure for right now, the Guggen Squad Saucy Swimmer. Hopefully we can sight fish some peacocks. And if not at this spot, then we'll head to some different spots. Alrighty. We have officially made it to spot number one, canal number one in Naples. And we should definitely have some bedding peacock bass somewhere along here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, I thought that was a peacock. Big Mayan cichlids right here. Big Mayan cichlids on a bed. I need to throw the ultralight at them. I could probably definitely catch one real quick on the ultralight. I'm going to try that. Giant Mayan cichlids. They should definitely whack this instantly. They kind of just like scattered out a little bit. The smaller one kind of showed some interest. Oh yeah, he's going right to it. I'm about to catch this small Mayan right here. Got him. I knew he was gonna eat. This is the smaller one. There's like, there's like uh, two way bigger ones just chilling. See, look, here come the, the bigger ones checking out why this one's like acting weird. Oh yeah, look, look at all three of them coming in. They're like, what's going on with Freddy? Nice little, uh, little Mayan cichlid here. Sight fished him off a of bed. Nice. Probably about a good 12 inch or so. Let's snap a quick pick and get him back. Alrighty guys, nice little Mayan cichlid to start off uh, the Naples fishing. Whoa, decent size one, but there's some down there that are like twice the size. I'm gonna put him right back on his bed where he came from. See ya buddy. What was that? Oh my God. Tiny Mayan just ate it. Come on, get out of the grass. Something weird and black, shaped like a cichlid. It kind of looked like an Oscar just came up and ate it. And then as I was reeling it in, this little tiny Mayan cichlid here just slurped it all in. Nice little guy. Go back to your clan, buddy. And down here, guys, I actually just saw a weird cichlid like it was fighting the mayans i don't know what it is but oh ooh, ooh. oh there's another mayan nope another mayan just came up and grabbed it that cichlid i was just talking about and a mayan just fought over eating this oh he whacked it he has a really small mouth though oh one of them just bit the tail off so I don't have a tail anymore, but he's still going for it. All right, I'm gonna throw on a smaller presentation real quick that I know this fish will eat. Something smaller that he can slurp it in because every time I see him swipe it, I can see he has like a really tiny mouth. 
Plus he took my tail, so I'm gonna switch it up real quick. Alrighty, so the plan is to throw this little um, mule fishing donkey tail junior at this fish. I actually caught a decent female peacock on this in Miami, but I'm gonna try to get this weird cichlid that I've never seen before. Oh yeah. Oh, he's going for it. Oh, he just swiped it. He's only swiping it to kill it. He's not really like trying to eat it. He's to the point where he's like, you know what? I'm just gonna have to like eat you to kill you. So, might get him there in a second. Got him, got him, got him. Let's see what it is. Let's see what it is. What is this? What is this? You know what? It looks like a spotted tilapia. Yeah, I think that's what it is. It's either a spotted tilapia or it's a spotted tilapia hybrid with a Mayan cichlid. Check that out, guys. That's definitely a spotted cichlid because, or not a spotted cichlid, a spotted tilapia because of the pattern. But also look at like the blue dots on the tail and then like that blue and red line on the top. That's definitely a hybrid with a Mayan cichlid. Awesome, guys. New species to the list, a spotted tilapia and Mayan cichlid hybrid. Alrighty, let's get this guy unhooked. Right there on the mule, um, the mule fishing donkey tail junior. Awesome hybrid. Definitely between a Mayan cichlid and a spotted tilapia. New species off the list. Hooked right on the top of the mouth. He kept swiping it one after another. And he wasn't committing fully to the snacky swimmer. So I knew the little donkey tail junior would do the trick. It's a perfect little paddle tail. I think it's like less than two inches. It's a 1.8 inch. So I'm gonna put this guy back right in front of his bed. See ya, buddy. Off he goes. Oh, I got mine cichlid. Oh, mine cichlid just ate it. I was gonna say there's two mines looking at it. One just ate it right there. Decent mine, probably about the size of the bigger one I caught. Maybe a little bit bigger. He's running on those rocks over there. I'm trying to catch one of those giant sunfish. He's like all the way down there on the rocks. I should be able to flip him up. Probably only weighs like a pound, pound and a half. Oh, that's actually a pretty big Mayan. It's actually quite a bit bigger than the one I caught earlier. I'm gonna snap a picture of him real quick. All right, guys, we're gonna get this guy back. And right as I'm about to release this fish, I see a small peacock, probably like not even a pound, but it's a peacock, so. Um, first peacock spotted right now over there. Definitely a good sign. Um, I'm not even gonna play around with any other cichlids like I've been, because I just wanna catch peacocks now. We knocked a couple good species off the list so far. Give me my jig back, man. Right there on the mule fishing, um, Donkey Tail Jr. Nice mine cichlid. I'm gonna try to catch a peacock now. Um, I might throw it at the small peacock over here, but let's let this guy go real quick. All right, the little peacock's right here. Let's see if he wants the donkey tail junior. Oh, he's going right to it. Oh, got him, got him. Little baby peacock. There we go, instantly, man. Instant. Little Naples peacock here on the ultralight. It's been a little minute since I caught a Naples peacock. Probably about a one pounder. Yeah, he's actually a little bit bigger than I thought. They look way smaller down there because uh, it's so high up here. But nice little Naples peacock. All right, guys, I'm gonna walk this peacock down to get a good release. Nice little Naples peacock right there. Um, definitely a male. You can see the tiny little noggin just uh, just starting. So that's that's awesome. That's actually the first male peacock I've ever caught in Naples. Um, I don't want to fall in, so let's go over here. Oh yeah, perfect area to release him right here just saw him cruising right as I was uh, releasing that, that Mayan and he ate it instantly, man. Whoa, there he goes. Awesome. These Mayan cichlids are everywhere during bedding season. Two peacocks, two peacocks. One's a decent one right here. One peacock right here is decent. It looked like a male and a small female. Small male, small female. One was a little bigger than the other just came out from chilling right there. They swam out that way. 
Is that a peacock right there or is that a mine cichlid? I think that's a peacock. Oh yeah, that's a peacock. He's going to my bait. Probably like a little smaller than the one I caught. Peacock number four spotted right there. Little guy. Oh, peacock going to it. Nice peacock, nice peacock right up on it. Not really nice, but bigger than the one that I caught. About a pound and a half or so. Just came out of the little weeds right here. Oh, he's right on it. There's a couple of them. Oh, 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 got him, got him, got him. Peacock number two, peacock number two. There's a whole school of them down there. This is one of the smaller ones. Oh, I hooked him right in the eyeball. Right in the side, I must have foul hooked him. He just swiped at it. Actually, he's like right on the side of the eye, not in the actual eyeball. That's good. Tiny little peacock there. Looks like a female right by the spillway. Beautiful, beautiful tail right there on the uh, Guggen Saucy Swimmer. All right, I'm gonna give this one a good release. There's a couple down there that are bigger than this. So one's nice, he's probably like two pounds or so. I'm gonna try to get back in there as fast as possible, but nice. Peacock number two here in Naples, Florida. See ya, bud. Oh my goodness, guys. I see a really big peacock. It's got to be at least three pounds. Really, really nice peacock. Kind of looks like a male, too. I just stumbled across him. There's another one right here. I think that's the female. I want that male. This, this one right here is like... Oh, he's going to it. This one's a lot smaller. Oh, he's circling it. Eat it. Oh my god, he just pecked the living hell out of it. I'm probably going to catch this one right here. It's like two pounds. The other one's way bigger, though. Oh my god. Dude. This one's like, oh, look at the bigger one. The bigger one. Oh my goodness. The male's right over here. Yeah, that's the female that just pecked me. But the male just circled back. I want that male, man. This one is ultra aggressive. He's sitting on a bed right now. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and try to catch this female right here. The male's still there, got the female. That's a nice female. That is a nice female right here, guys. The male's like five or six. Oh, dude, are you kidding me? Oh yeah, the male's scared of it. I don't think I have a shot with the male. He's really big though. The female's about to eat it. Right there, got her again. Hooked her again. Hooked her again. Second time's a charm. Maybe the third time we can hook the the male. Yeah, see it just shook the uh it just shook the uh the tail off my bait right there, but nice female guys. That's probably like a two pound female on the uh saucy swimmer. I'm gonna snap a picture real quick and hopefully we can catch that male down there because he's quite a bit bigger than this one. Alrighty, let's get a good release on this female. The male's sitting right on the bed where the female was, probably looking for the female. So last look, that is a super vibrant, nice, bright female. I'm gonna let her go right here. And that male is still sitting on that rock. I really hope I can catch him because this one's probably about two pounds. That male's gotta be three, three and a half, so. I'm going to try to revive this one. Whoa, she don't even want to be revived. There she goes. Right back over to the bed. Awesome. All right, guys. I quickly just tied on this little blue hand tie jig that I tied. Blue and chartreuse with uh, some flash in there. Um, the male is still over here. The female went right to the same rock that I caught her off of. And a couple other peacocks kind of showed up too. So let me try to spot them real quick. Here's the male, he's back. He's looking down on the bed. Oh, 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 he just looked at it. Every time I throw by him, it's like he knows it's fake. But if that's his bed right there, then he shouldn't care. He should just straight up hit it. Male keeps running from it. I, I really don't think he's gonna eat. Yeah, I don't have a chance with that big male. All right, I'm gonna try one more thing. I'm gonna try to put the Donkey Tail Jr. in front of him. I think it's too small, but you never know, man. He just might go for it because it's so small. All right, well, we wait on that peacock because I don't really see him right now. He'll come back. Let's see if uh, these little guys are still over here somewhere. Oh yeah, the two little ones are right here. 
Oh, he ate it right away, the male. Decent little male right there. Just crushed the little, the little jig. Really want that male that's like three or four pounds over there, but I'll take this guy. He's decent, he's like, he's a lot bigger than he looked in the water, that's for sure. He's like one uh, pound and a half, maybe two on a good day. Definitely a male, small noggin. Nice male peacock right there. He looks a lot bigger than he looked in the water. Small noggin, just crushed the little, uh, the tiny little ultralight jig right there. That is super, super cool guys. Really vibrant fish, really yellow. I'm gonna snap a picture and hopefully, I'm gonna try for this big one um, for a few more minutes, but I don't wanna spend one day or all day in one spot. So um, if we can't get this guy in the next 10 minutes, we're probably just gonna walk down the canal more and look for some more. Alrighty, peacock, is that number three? Three, four, I don't even know. It's either three or four as of right now. Um, I'm gonna put him back right over here with this female. His female swimming around. I don't think the camera's picking that up because I have polarized glasses. I can see everything. But I'm gonna put him right back here with his female. Nice Naples peacock bass. Decent little male there. Awesome. I really wanna catch this big male over here. Because if that guy is like two pounds and he looks that small in the water, I can only imagine this one over here is like four. Oh, there's the male going right back to the rock. Let me stay back here. Ooh, he looked at it. He wanted it. He was about to eat it. All right, I'm not even gonna play any more games. I'm gonna wait till he's literally sitting on the rock for a good 30 seconds and then throw it in front of him. Because if he just creeps up to the rock and I throw it in front of him, he's gone. So, oh, there he is. He's back, he's back. Oh my God, dude. He went right up to it, but he didn't eat it. All right, he's back, he's back on the rock. Got him, got him, I got him. Time and patience pays off, guys. Got the male, got the male. He's a big one. Possible PB, possible PB here. Let me tighten my drag up. I, I gotta keep this one on him. He's on the ultralight. Possible PB. I've been trying for this fish for the past 20 minutes, maybe even more. Hooked right on the top of the mouth. Nice male. I think this is my PB right here, guys. Right here, Naples. Out of all the Miami trips, Naples is where I get my PB. Buddy, don't come off. Don't come off. PB Peacock right here, guys. I've been trying for about a good 20 minutes to catch this one fish. Nice male Peacock here in Naples, Florida. He's probably a solid three pounder, maybe a little more. All right, come here, buddy. He's like a mini Amazon peacock. Can you hold that? Come here, buddy. Oh yeah, he's, he's a four. Oh my goodness gracious. PB peacock right there, guys, here in Naples. Probably a four pounder. I have my scale. I'm gonna weigh him up and see what he is, but I'll tell you right now, that's definitely my PB, guys. Alrighty, um, I'm gonna snap some pictures real quick and then um, weigh him up and see what he is. Small noggin, small noggin, big peacock. Awesome, we're gonna snap some pictures. Alrighty, guys, look at that. Oh, the jig popped out already. All right, cool. Big freaking peacock, especially for Naples, guys. Definitely the biggest peacock I've ever seen in Naples. I'm gonna tell you right now, this is definitely my PB. He's probably close to four pounds, let's see. All right, now it's stopping on three and three quarters. It did stop on 313. My scale's kind of acting up right now, but three and three quarter pound peacock right there, guys. Almost a four pounder. That is insane. Male with a small noggin here in Naples. Never did I think I'd catch one like this in Naples rather than Miami. I thought for sure I would have caught one like this in Miami, but more trips to come, guys. Whoa, 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 whoa. Last look. That is awesome. Let's get a good release. That is such a big peacock right there. He's built like a brick. Like, if y'all saw this fish in person, I could see the GoPro right now. It's not doing justice, but this fish is big. Especially for Naples, man. That is definitely the biggest peacock that I've ever seen in Naples. All right, let's revive him. He's almost ready already. See ya, bud. There he goes. There he goes. 
All right, guys, after catching that one really big peacock, um, we're just gonna fish our way back to where the car is located. And then we're gonna go get some Chick-fil-A to celebrate and then head back home. Alrighty, guys, we have made it to the end of the canal here. I'm gonna give it just a couple minutes flipping around, try to get one last peacock before we head out. But that's not me, I ain't stupid. Ooh. Oh, I think I see a nice peacock right here. A couple of them. There's two of them. Oh, nice peacock just tried to eat it right there. Big boy. I don't think he's quite as big as the one I just caught, but man, that peacock's on it. I'm going to put it right back on top of him. Where'd you go, bud? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That was so aggressive. I'm about to catch him. I'm about to catch him. Got him. Got one of them. I don't know which one that is because I didn't I didn't even see him eat it. Yeah, that is the female. Let's bring her down over here. That's still a nice one. That's like two pounds, maybe even bigger. On my hand tied jig. Nice female. That male's a little bit bigger, so that male definitely is a nice male. Alright, let's get her up. Awesome, awesome, awesome. On my hand tied jig on the blue one, I just tied this one like like not even a week ago. Look at that guys. Just snapped a couple little pictures of this one. On my hand tied jig. I just tied it too. That's so awesome. Oh, why are they so strong, dude? Alright, I'm gonna walk her back to the bed. And I'm just gonna take maybe like a couple more flips, try to get that male that's over there. And then we out for the day. Alrighty, this is probably about the best I could do. Bye bye. There she goes. Alright, just a couple more flips. See if that male's still hanging down there if he wants to eat. I knew I would have uh, ended up catching the female. Ooh, ooh, just got swiped. That had to be the male. Had to be the male. Swiped it instantly. I think there's a bed down there on the bottom. Oh my God, I got him. That's a big one. That's a big one too. Got the male, got the male. That's a big one too. This one might be like three pounds. Oh, wait a minute. Is that a big female? That is a big female. Look at the black fin. It was two females together. I don't know, but this is a really big female right here, guys. This is probably the biggest female I've ever caught. Probably my second biggest peacock on my hand tied jig. I thought it was a male. Let's get him down here to land him. I don't want to flip him up. He's too big. Take this backpack off. Oh yeah, that's a really good female right there. That's definitely a female all the way. Whoa, wow. Look at that, guys. Two big peacocks in one day. I would, I would consider that a big one. That's probably close to three pounds, if not three pounds. That is awesome. Definitely gonna go get a picture real quick of this one. This is the last fish of the day here. Alrighty guys, I'm not even gonna get a weight on this one. Like realistically, based off of the one in Miami that was two and three quarters, I'm gonna guess that's probably three, maybe three and a quarter. Honestly, it could be three and a half, but you know, I don't know. Between three and three and a half. Really nice female peacock. Definitely by far the biggest female that I've ever caught. Uh, I'm gonna walk her down, get a good release. Let me see if I can get on this like little rock ledge here without falling in. Perfect. Alrighty, let's get this female back. Big female, big female peacock. That's my second biggest peacock ever other than that one I caught earlier. Ooh, took off like a rocket, just bit my thumb like a ton of bricks and just gone, never to be seen again. Yes. 
Alrighty guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. Um, we got on a bunch of peacocks. It's too bad that Fort Myers didn't work out for the peacocks. I was really hoping to catch some peacocks in a new area, but it definitely paid off coming to Naples, 30 minutes south, and caught my PB peacock, almost four pounds, and a really big female, and some other peacocks. Also, knocked off a new species off the list. That is awesome, guys. Follow me on Instagram at Simple Florida Fishing if you don't already to keep up with my fire fishing content. And also, if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe for more fire fishing content. I'll catch you guys in the next episode of Simple Florida Fishing.